Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see class 9, subject science, chapter 4, measurement of matter, exercise solutions. So question 1, give examples. A. Positive radicals. Answer. Na plus sodium ion, K plus potassium ion. B. Basic radicals. Answer. Na plus sodium ion, K plus potassium ion, Ag plus silver ion. C. Composite radicals. Answer. SO4 2 minus NH4 plus. D. Metals with variable valency. Answer. Iron Fe2 plus Fe3 plus. Copper Cu plus Cu2 plus. Mercury Hg plus Hg2 plus. E. Bivalent acidic radicals. Answer. O2 minus oxide, S2 minus sulfide, CO3 2 minus carbonate. F. Trivalent basic radicals. Answer. Al3 plus aluminium, Cr3 plus chromium, Fe3 plus ferric. Question 2. Write symbols of the following elements and the radicals obtained from them and indicate the change on the radicals. Mercury, Potassium, Nitrogen, Copper, Sulphur, Carbon, Chlorine, Oxygen. Answer Mercury. Symbol Hg, Radicals Hg plus Hg2 plus. Charge of Radicals plus 1 plus 2. Potassium, Symbol K, Radicals K plus, Charge plus 1. Nitrogen, Symbol N, Radicals N3 minus, Charge of Radicals minus 3. Copper, Symbol Cu, radical Cu plus Cu2 plus, charge of radicals plus 1 plus 2. Sulfur, symbol S, radicals S2 minus, charge minus 2. Carbon, symbol C. Chlorine, symbol Cl, radical Cl minus, charge of radicals minus 1. Oxygen, symbol O, radicals O2 minus, charge of radicals minus 2. Question number 3. Write the steps in deducing the chemical formulae of the following compounds. Sodium sulfate, potassium nitrate, ferric phosphate, calcium oxide, aluminium hydroxide. Answer. To write the chemical formulae of compounds, it is necessary to know the symbols and val valency of various radicals. First, sodium sulfate. Step 1. To write the symbols of radicals. Basic radicals on the left and acidic radicals on the right. NaSO4. Step 2. To write the valency below the respective radicals. Na valency 1. SO4 valency 2. Step 3. To cross multiply as shown by arrows the number of radicals. Na multiplied by 2. SO4 multiplied by 1. Step 4. To write down the chemical formula of the compound. Na2SO4. Sodium sulfate. Second, potassium nitrate. Formula is obtained as follows. Symbols and valencies of potassium and nitrate are potassium 1, nitrate 1. Cross multiplying the valencies. K multiplied by 1, NO3 multiplied by 1. Therefore, the chemical formula of potassium nitrate is KNO3. Third, ferric phosphate. Formula is obtained as follows. Symbols and valencies of valency of Fe3, valency of PO4, 3. Dividing by common factor, we get 1, 1. Cross multiplying the valencies. Fe multiplied by 1, PO4 multiplied by 1. Therefore, the chemical formula of ferric phosphate is FeBO4. Fourth, calcium oxide. Formula is obtained as follows. Symbols and valencies of calcium oxide and oxide are valency of Ca2, valency of O2. Dividing by common factor, we get now cross multiplying Ca multiplied by 1, O multiplied by 1. Therefore, chemical formula of Calcium oxide is CaO. Fifth, aluminium hydroxide. Formula is obtained as follows. 
symbols and valencies of aluminium and hydroxide are al valency is 3 valency of oh1 cross multiplying al multiplied by 1 oh multiplied by 3 for the chemical formula of aluminium hydroxide is aloh3 Question 4. Write answers to the following questions and explain your answers. A. Explain how the element sodium is monovalent. Answer. The number of protons or electrons. Atomic number in sodium atom is 11. Therefore, the electronic configuration of sodium atom is 2 at 1. In chemical reaction, sodium atom has the capacity to give away one electron from its outermost orbit to form Na plus ion with stable electronic configuration to it. As sodium atom gives away one electron and a cation of sodium is formed, hence the valency of sodium is 1 and therefore the element sodium is monovalent. Question B. M is bivalent metal. Write down the steps to find the chemical formula of its compounds formed with radicals sulfate and phosphate. Answer. Answer. M is bivalent metal. Following are the steps to find the chemical formula of its compounds formed with the radicals sulfate and phosphate. Compound of metal M. With radical sulfate, step 1 to write the symbols of radicals, basic radicals on the left and acidic radicals on the right, MSO4. Step 2 to write the valency below the respective radical, valency of M2, valency of SO4, 2. Dividing valency by common factor, we get its valency as 1, 1. Step 3 to cross multiply as shown by arrows the number of radicals. M multiplied by 1, SO4 multiplied by 1. Now step 4 to write down the chemical formula of the compound that is MSO4. Second compound of metallium with radical phosphate. Step 1 to write the symbols of the radicals. Basic radicals on the left and acidic radicals on the right. MPO4. Step 2 to write the valency below the respective radical. M valency 2. PO4 valency 3. Step 3. Cross multiply as shown by arrows the number of radicals. M multiplied by 3. 2 multiplied by PO4. Step 4. To write down the chemical formula of the compound. M3 PO4 2. Question number C. Explain the need of for a reference atom for atomic mass. Give some information about Two reference atoms answer since the atom is very very small it is very difficult to determine its mass very accurately hence the concept of the relative mass was introduced as the hydrogen atom is the lightest it was taken as the reference atom in old days the nucleus of H atom contains only one proton therefore its mass was taken as 1 unit. The mass of nitrogen atom is 14 times than that of H atom. Hence, the relative mass of the N atom was taken as 14 units. In this manner, the relative masses of various elements were determined. In 1961, it was decided to take the C12 atom as the reference atom. In this, the mass of C12 atom is taken as 12U. The mass of the hydrogen atom relative to that of the C12 atom is equal to 1 by 12 multiplied by 12 delton is equal to 1 delton. On the relative atomic mass of scale, the mass of the proton is very nearly 1 delton. Similarly, the mass of the neutron is very nearly 1 delton. Question D. What is meant by unified atomic mass? Answer. During earlier time, relative mass of an atom was considered 
for measuring the mass of an atom directly but since the founding of unified mass relative mass is not accepted henceforth unified atomic mass is the unit of atomic mass called as dalton its symbol is u 1 dalton is equal to 1.66 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 27 kg next question e explain the with examples what is meant by a mole of a substance answer a mole is that quantity of a substance whose mass in grams is equal in magnitude to the molecular mass of that substance in daltons for example atomic mass of oxygen atom is 16 dalton thus the molecular mass of oxygen molecule o2 is 16 multiplied by 2 is equal to 32 dalton therefore 32 g of oxygen is 1 mole of oxygen remaining questions we will see in next video if you want to watch the similar videos then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you